Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now February 18th of 2021. I hope everyone out there in Texas is still doing okay, staying very safe. Let me know how you guys are doing over there. Now, everything related to Star Wars and the situation with the Gina Carano firing, a lot of fans have been up in arms by, of course, you know, how Disney handled the entire situation and exactly, you know, what they're really doing about it, which is basically nothing. You know, so far as we know, Disney has no plans to rehire Gina Carano, nor do they have any plans to bring her back into Star Wars in any way, shape, or form. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars, all right, is that we do know that, yes, over the past couple of years, Kathleen Kennedy has been a force of destruction. There's no doubt about that. You know, we saw how she handled the sequel trilogy, how she handled Solo, a Star Wars story, and also how she handled other projects out there completely separate from live action material. Now, when we go ahead and take a closer look at what John, Dave, and George are indeed developing, that is, of course, this new universe. Over a dozen Star Wars projects, by the way, mind you, are already being worked on, a lot of which are already well into development, like Andor, Kenobi, Ahsoka, and more. So we got a lot coming our way. A lot of fans are very much still intrigued about Ewan McGregor reprising the role as Kenobi, Rosario Dawson coming back as Ahsoka, and so much more to come. However, there's no denying that a lot of fans are very angry over what happened with Gina Carano and are responding in ways by canceling their Disney Plus subscription. Disney themselves have actually been very worried about the entire situation of the amount of subscriptions that they actually lost because, like I say, it doesn't only affect Star Wars, it affects Marvel and everything else, you know, that's also a part of the platform. Now, with that being said, given that The Mandalorian Season 3 is now in development, Disney and Lucasfilm are fully focused on their new universe moving forward. It's described, however, that behind the scenes, creator Jon Favreau has been going through a very tough phase after the firing of Gina Carano by Lucasfilm. It's noted that Jon is described to be planning to leave from a major Star Wars project that was going to be one of the main Star Wars TV series on Disney+. That series, of course, being Rangers of the New Republic, where it's noted that Favreau is already in a big discussion with Disney CEO Bob Chapek of reforming the show into something new after he leaves and drops the project entirely, and that Favreau is indeed suggesting to Disney that they announce the show getting reformed by April of this year, well ahead of its planned 2023 release date. Additionally, Favreau is, of course, surprisingly, already planning to do more projects with his partner Dave Filoni, and that they are also tweaking the Ahsoka Tano TV series and rewriting many aspects of The Mandalorian Season 3. Now, one thing I gotta say is that these two guys are very, very busy. I don't know how they're able to keep up with all of this, but I digress. However, the state of Rangers is not looking good, for Disney Plus at least, of course. Favreau plans to leave the project and start a new one that will replace it, completely separate from this involving the Gina Carano fired situation, however. It's noted that Kathleen Kennedy refused to even inform Gina Carano that she was fired for several days, and that Kathleen Kennedy knew and was a part of this big choice for over a week before letting Carano even know about it. Carano is said to have no intention or interest in coming back to Star Wars, even if they do offer her to come back to the role of Cara Dune in the Mandalorian series and, of course, for other projects. And really, I mean, can we really blame Gina Carano? I mean, if I were her, if I were in her shoes, I don't think I would want to come back either, you know? Uh, if I were fired without even knowing about it for over a week and then just getting the information several days after you were fired, I'm not quite sure how anybody would want to come back to a company like that. But one thing I will say, a lot of fans have their own opinions on Gina Carano's post on social media. Of course, a lot of fans are very much fed up with the hypocrisy over at Lucasfilm, right? You know, we saw what Pedro Pascal posted, we, show, we saw what Gina posted, and a lot of people are, you know, endlessly comparing the two and pointing it out as to why Pedro did not receive the same exact kind of, you know, uh, punishment, if you will, by getting fired. 
So that's the thing that I don't understand either. You know, obviously there's an agenda going on over at Lucasfilm. Obviously there is something of that kind that allowed Pedro to stay on board. One would even argue or debate that Pedro is still there because, oh, you know, he just did something like that one or two times where meanwhile Gina Carano just kept doing it over and over and over again while Lucasfilm kept telling her to stop. You know, there's an argument there. I get it. But when we look at everything related to Rangers of the New Republic, all right, this is a big mess right now. Now, this is not going to make a big hole in the Star Wars universe. Essentially, John plans to leave that project, start a brand new one, pitch it to Bob Chapek, the Disney CEO, and really kind of just use that as a replacement to insert it into this new roadmap of Star Wars that's going to actually be placed within the same exact time frame changing all the main characters, changing the plot, but keeping it in that time frame, roughly one month to one year after Return of the Jedi. This series, mind you, is going to show us the downfall of the Empire, and of course, the rise of the remnants of the Empire, and how they were able to make it off of the world of Jakku. Now, not just that, it would take place on many different worlds, like Endor, and stuff around those lines. Here's the thing about John Favreau though, he's very tied up with a lot of work right now, and extra work. This guy's got to do rewrites for Mandalorian Season 3, he's got to do over the treatments for Season 4 already, he's got to tweak the Ahsoka Tano series with Dave Filoni, I mean, this thing really had a ripple effect, it did. Uh, I mean, just one firing, you know, of how that led to another thing, and that led to another thing. You know, Carano's character, Cara Dune, was really going to be a big character. You know, not just in Rangers, but also in Mandalorian Season 3 and 4, as well as the Ahsoka Tano show and more series out there to come. They really wanted to make her a big, regular character. You know, when you look at the Avengers movies or the Marvel Cinematic Universe, let's say the Avengers, you know, you look at one character like Scarlet Witch, or you look at another character like Black Widow, you know, they're main characters. They wanted to make Cara Dune a repeating main character like that. And that's exactly why this is having such a big effect. Because you take one of those characters out, you know, it has a domino effect on the other movies planned, or TV shows in this case. Now, the thing about the Gina Carano firing is that obviously, I'm not all that surprised that Kathleen Kennedy knew about this several days before even letting Carano know. In fact, Lucasfilm only let Carano know by letting the information get out to the media outlets out there. The Hollywood Reporter, Variety, uh, Deadline, I mean all these different media outlets are the ones that really informed Carano about her firing. And that's pretty, you know, unprofessional by Lucasfilm. It is. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me as to why they can keep acting like this. You know, there's got to be some point where they got to shape up, you know, when it comes to how they handle firings and everything like that. So, like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.